With one voice the angels sing Songs that make creation ring Prophets hear and call us to Live in spirit and in truth Word of God and throne Dwell in us forevermore Love has come to show In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. I greet you all this uh, beautiful 4th of July weekend. Happy 4th to all of you. It was back in 1776 when our ancestors were heavily burdened. Heavily burdened with taxes and with laws, being oppressed by a foreign nation. And so they declared their independence, their freedom. And so today, we recall the freedom that we have to uh, gather, to gather in our homes even, to celebrate and to worship the Lord. And let us remember, while we celebrate independence, we are most dependent upon God. Dependent upon God, especially during these weeks, these months of pandemic. So as we come together, we're going to hear Jesus say to us, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. So sit back, relax, uh, join us in the acclamations, and be at rest in the Lord. Lord, you give your blessing upon the little ones. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call all who labor and are burdened to rest in you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, St. Paul reminds us that we are filled with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory. Glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to peace. Of good will. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just saviour is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will give you glory, my God and King, and I will bless your name forever. Every day I will bless and praise your name forever. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. The Lord is full of grace and mercy. He is kind and slow to anger. He is good in all his works and full of compassion. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. Let all your words give you thanks, O Lord, and let all the faithful bless you. Let them speak of your might, O Lord, the glory of your kingdom. I will praise your name my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and always near, his name is holy. He lifts up all those who fall. He raises up the lowly. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King and my
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead, will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek, and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. This is good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Alexa, after these weekend masses, I want to go to the beach. Which beach is open that is closest to me? The closest beach open to you is in Seattle, Washington. Seattle. That actually sounds like Sister Eva. She must have a second day job. If you need some rest, if you need some rest, you're tired of the reopening rollbacks. You're tired of closures. You're just tired of staying at home. If you're tired of being zoomed out, if your posture is drooping because your spirit is deflated and depleted, If you need to refresh your soul, then the words of Jesus are for you 
this 4th of July weekend. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. So, my brothers and sisters, it's a joy to come into your homes this Sunday. What is this rest that God will give us? Well, in our first reading, the prophet Zechariah is writing to his fellow Israelites. It was a time in their history when Alexander the Great appeared four centuries before Christ. Alexander's Greek armies had conquered the entire Mediterranean world, including Israel. And Zechariah's promise of rest is imagining that day when Israel will rejoice in independence and receive her king in the traditional inaugural procession, riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. See, it was a particular practice begun with King Saul, the first king of Israel, and continued with King Solomon, a king on a donkey. A sign of humility and a sign that the king is to be of service to the people. In the biblical world, soldiers in war, in battle, rode on horses. The Lord's king will give the people rest by banishing horses, chariots, bows, and oppressors, and foreign intrusive governments. The king of Israel, riding on a donkey, represented a remember, a reminder to both king and people that everyone was subject to God and that God would always set them free. And so the promise of God centuries ago, no more battles, no more wars. And so that is a, a prophecy that we still long for today. And during these Months of the coronavirus, again sheltered at home, the battles are really within. And so what is this rest that Jesus refers to when he says, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. What is the rest that Jesus wants to give you? Rest says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. My yoke is easy, the Lord's yoke is easy, and the burden is light. What is a yoke? It's not a part of an egg. It's not a part of the omelet you're going to make after Mass this morning. But the agricultural farming community knew what Jesus was talking about. You see, a yoke was a, a big beam of wood. It could be four, six, eight feet long. It was heavy and it was uncomfortable. And on the farm, you would take that beam of wood, place it upon two hired hands on their shoulders, and tethered to the wood would be ropes that would extend behind them to the plow. And another hired hand would steer the plow straight to create the furrow in the land to plant the seeds. And so the two with the heavy yoke, the beam of wood, they would use the energy forward to help keep the, um, the instrument straight. And so a double yoke, two persons allowed twice the work to be done. There was less downtime. Not just one individual with the yoke, but two. It was a shared yoke. And so two people, there was a partnership. There was company. There was conversation. There was encouragement. Keep moving. We're almost through with this field. Encouraging one another so they would not be as tired at the end of the workday. And then they would be able to rejoice 
and the fruits of their labors when the seeds were planted and the harvest would begin. You see, the yoke of God is quite simple. Give your burdens to God. The Lord will carry them for you. Jesus offers us today a shared yoke. Today, St. Paul says to us, you are in the Spirit. The Spirit of God dwells in each and every one of you. The Spirit reminds us that we don't do everything on our own. If you're heavily burdened and asking, what do I do? And your answer is, with all these burdens, I don't know. That's a good answer. I don't know. Because that's the answer of surrender. That's the answer of turning this over to the Lord. Because God is always with us. And finally, we're privileged in this gospel to hear Jesus in his very intimate prayer with his Father. And he says, the things of heaven and earth are revealed to little ones. Little ones are not self-sufficient. They're not self-assured people who don't need God. The little ones in this passage does not refer to children. Little ones are all of us. Little ones are teachable by God. We see the need to grow. And so we're called to be the little ones, to sit at the feet of the Master in your homes today, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to be encouraged by His Word, and to be in spiritual communion, not only with yourself at home or your loved ones, but with the whole church and this community of St. Joseph. The little ones out there are people, yourselves, that we sometimes might not even notice unless we keep our eyes and our hearts open and receptive. As I was thinking about the, the little ones that I've asked the Lord to help me notice during these months of the coronavirus, I noticed three weeks ago, and I'm sure you've seen this. You know when you go shopping, go grocery shopping, there's always a worker standing outside the doors, spraying the cart and that handle and wiping it down with disinfectant in the entire cart. Well, about three weeks ago, I went shopping at Ralph's, and I noticed an older gentleman who was sanitizing the cart. The little one. And he offered me the cart to keep me safe. Now, this older gentleman couldn't see my smile underneath my mask. So I looked him in the eyes and said, thanks. Thank you for serving. And he responded, Thank you for noticing. So my brothers and sisters, this week, open up your eyes, open up your hearts, and be receptive and notice the little ones out there who are taking good care of all of us. Alexa, the beaches are closed, so what should I do after the masses this holiday weekend? Get some rest in the Lord. Amen.
So my brothers and sisters, again this Sunday, let's renew our baptismal promises in which the promised Holy Spirit filled us. And so I ask you, holy people of God, do you reject Satan? I do. And say, do you reject Satan and all of his empty works? I do. Do you reject Satan and all of his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in his Son, Jesus our Lord, who was conceived by the Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, died, rose from the dead, and ascended to the Father in heaven? I do. I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. May we always be proud to profess this faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bring all of our needs to the Lord this Sunday, for his yoke is easy and his burden light. For the Church, that Pope Francis and all his brother bishops be filled with the gifts of the Spirit, that they might lead us to a more authentic and virtuous life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our nation on this Independence Day weekend, that she will always uphold the truth that all people are created equal and endowed by their Creator with the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the grace to be childlike, that we may surrender ourselves to Christ and allow him to journey with us through the important events in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in a special way today for the repose of the soul of Daniel Flores, for whom we offer this holy mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, including Father Michael Myers, Joanne Bourgeois, that God's healing spirit will restore them to health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died this week, including Pamela Goddard, that the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to their mortal bodies also. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, bless and keep safe all of our St. Joseph's parishioners and all who are visiting us through this YouTube Mass. Hear our prayers and answer our prayers in the way that always brings us life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, I want to thank you very, very much for filling the basket, and most especially thank you for your great stewardship. A lot of you continue to uh, mail in your offertory gift. Uh, you drop it off at the Parish Life Center. Uh, many of you have signed up for Faith Direct, and if you're visiting today and like to support our ministries, just go to our website, uh, stjoseplb.org, and there's a donate button. You can make a one-time gift or join us in Faith Direct. But thank you for your stewardship in helping us to take care of our parish family. And we'll begin that uh, this coming week, uh, Tuesday night. Uh, we're going to celebrate uh, a first of four confirmations. Uh, our high school students uh, will be able to gather with uh, our first 15 and their sponsors. And I think they get four guests. And uh, the regional bishop has delegated me to celebrate that confirmation and to impart the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so pray for them this week uh, that they might be strong young disciples in the Lord. And thank you for your stewardship. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. They will become for us the bread of life and our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. My brothers and sisters, this first weekend of July, uh, the first day of a new week, pray our sacrifice will be pleasing to the Lord God Almighty. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this offering dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty God. You have laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all of its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness and life. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, send down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, the clergy, and all of your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection remembering especially those who have died from COVID-19 this past week. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, 
St. Paul reminds us that we are filled with the Spirit. Together we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from evil, grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, may we be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church, the faith of your holy people at home. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord's peace and rest be with you always. And with your spirit. And safely turn to those around you at home and offer a sign of the Lord's good peace. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, my roof but, but only, only say the say word, the word and my soul shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, I know your longing for the Lord is to rest in the Lord. And so I invite you now to please uh, join together in the unity of offering this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, since I cannot at this moment, receive you sacramentally, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. channel of your peace where there is hatred let me bring your love where there is injury your pardon and where there's doubt true faith Make me a channel of your peace 
With his despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only sadness ever joy Oh Master grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand that we receive and in dying that we're born to eternal Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, thank you for allowing us to come into your homes uh, this holiday weekend. Lots of uh, new restrictions in place. However, we truly are free. We're free to pray together, and that's a great gift of God. So be safe, uh, love one another, and have a blessed week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace and the rest of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on.